Ed Sheeran is opening up like never before. The musician got real about the highs and lows of his life in a new interview with the Rolling Stone. Addressing the death of his best friend, his eating disorder, quitting hard drugs, drinking less, and past suicidal thoughts. Jamal Edwards passed away last February due to cardiac arrhythmia from using cocaine. And Ed noted that his sudden death made him finally address, quote, the real lows in his life, including quitting hard drugs and drinking less. Quote, I would never, ever, ever touch anything again because that's how Jamal died. And that's just disrespectful to his memory to even like go near Ed shared. But amid grieving the death of his best friend, his wife Cherry was pregnant with their second child, Jupiter, who is now eight months old. And Cherry was diagnosed with a tumor, which couldn't be treated until after she'd given birth. Quote, I felt like I didn't want to live anymore. And I've had that throughout my life. You're under the waves drowning. You're just sort of in this thing and you can't get out of it. Ed told the publication, but noted that he also felt a sense of shame because his feelings, quote, seem selfish, especially as a father. Quote, I feel really embarrassed about it, he added. Ed also opened up about his struggle with an eating disorder, calling him a, quote, real binge eater. Quote, I have a real eating problem. I'm a real binge eater. I'm a binge everything, but I'm now more of a binge exerciser and a binge dad and work, obviously. But Ed noted that his wife, Cherry, has encouraged him to see a therapist. Quote, no one really talks about their feelings, where I come from. People think it's weird getting a therapist in England. I think it's very helpful to be able to speak with someone and just vent and not feel guilty about venting. The singer also opens up about his life in his new Disney Plus doc, The Sum of It All. You guys said, do you want to make a documentary? And I went, yeah, and it should be me in the studio and we'll play the gig. That's not what the documentary is. 